How to use macro to complete a repetitive task in Excel. Tech Tricks GH. Subscribe now. Before you begin to use macro in Excel, you have to enable the developer tab that contains the coding group and the macro command. Since the developer tab is not visible when one wants to check the various tabs, to enable it, click the File tab from the list Select Options. When the Options dialog box appears, click on Custom Ribbon. Tick Developer and click OK to add it to the rest of the tabs. The Developer tab then appears. Now navigate to the Code group and click on Record Macro. When the Record Macro dialog box appears, Give your macro a name. You can apply it to a new workbook or the current workbook. You can also add a description to the macro. And click OK to start recording every activity or actions you make. Let's assume that on a daily basis, your boss instructs you to rearrange clients' data by their first and last name respectively by knowing the number of books bought by each client, the quantity, unit price, and the total amount paid by each client. You can record these processes and apply it to any subsequent data your boss forwards to you. Let's insert a column by right-clicking on the column letter and select Insert to insert a column. Let's rename the column name to First Name and the blank column to the last name. Now select all the names. On the Data tab, locate the Data group and click the Test to Column command. When the convert text to column wizard appears, make sure that delimited is selected and click next. Select space under delimiter and treat consecutive delimiters as one and click next. Click next to finish. We now have first and last names in separate columns. Right click and insert another column and name its details. Now for place some details about products sold so far. In this case, they are booths. Change the books to quantity. And center quantity content. Add unit price as the next header. And enter 10 in all the cells within the column. Right click on the cell. From the list, select Format Cell. When the Format Cell dialog box appears, select Currency and click OK to convert the cell to currency. Next is to type Line Total to enable us to calculate the amount of money spent by each client. Right click on the cell. From the list, select Format Cell. When the Format Cell dialog box appears, Select Currency and click OK to convert the cell to Currency. Now when you are done with it, apply Currency formatting to the rest of the cells. 
Begin the total amount spent by each client with an equal sign. You now select the unit price for Benedicta Sasu, followed by asterisk sign and the quantity. You then press enter on the keyboard to know the total amount spent by her. When you are through with that, just click and hold and drag the lower right corner of the cell to calculate the amount spent by the rest of the clients. Expand the column to make room for all the totals to appear fully. Let's make room for the grand total to help us calculate the total amount paid by all the clients. Let's now format the cell that will contain the grand total to currency. Right click and select Format Cell. From the dialog box, select your preferred currency and click OK. Select all the line total from the editing group. Click on Auto Sum and select Sum. The grand total appears. Now select the grand total and click on bold command to bolden it. Let's do the same for the rest of the headers. Select all the clients from the first name to the line total. On the fonts group, click on the borders command and select all borders from the list. Let's do the same for the ground total. We will now stop our recording. And undo all activities. Once we have finished on doing all activities and now back to square one, select all initial data and apply micro recording we created to it. By navigating your way to the code group and click the macros command. When the macros dialog box appears, select the Tectrix GH invoice we created and hit on run. Instantly, all the process recorded appears immediately. To save a macro embedded Excel file, click on the file menu. Select save as. Browse to the location. Type your preferred name. And from the file type, select Excel Macro Enable Workbook. Then hit on Save. Let's test our macro once again by opening our raw data worksheet and click the Macros command. When the Macros dialog box appears, select the Tectris GH invoice once again and hit on Run. Instantly, all the process recorded appears immediately. Tech Tricks GH. Subscribe now.